Okay, so you've seen the thumbnail, and yes, that was the fight that resulted in this. There's a lot more messages to that interaction that I'll show in a minute, as well as other funny or entertaining messages I've gotten over the years playing Xbox. Okay, so here's the full conversation with the guy in the first two clips I showed. I'm just going to have that rolling in the background with some gameplay, so feel free to pause whenever and read it if you want to. As you could see from the date of the messages, this took place literally over two years ago. For whatever reason, I could only find two ancient Xbox clips of us fighting, but I mean, you can tell that it's a pretty basic match, not much to complain about on either end really, which is why I was pretty confused by the quick chat spam. Even when he messaged me directly, I truly thought he was trolling, as you can see by my first few replies. Can't really say I'm proud of the rest of the interaction. I come across as trying to sound clever and a little antagonistic, honestly. Nobody's perfect. To explain a little bit of the context in between messages, I re queued after our first duel, so that's why he started with better run. But then when I said we can do a custom match, he just babbles about how he won the duel despite getting 3 0'd, and that I should hold the L. He never accepted my invite to a custom, but funnily enough, we randomly encountered each other again in open queue, match started, and he immediately forfeited, followed by continuing to prolong the honestly very weird fiction that he's now won twice. After that last message, we never spoke or fought again, and I can't believe I have to say this, but please do not go after this guy or message him whatsoever. Not that you care about my approval, but I will in fact think that anyone who harasses this guy over a two-year-old Xbox conversation is a far bigger loser than he ever was. Leave the guy alone so we can keep enjoying watching stuff like this for what it's meant to be, entertainment. Xbox messages can be interesting, to say the least. As with any communication platform involving strangers, there are pleasant interactions, not so pleasant ones like we just saw, and some just downright confusing. The whole point of this is for entertainment value, and certainly not to make fun of or disparage anyone. As all of you who've seen my last video know, I haven't played much For Honor in the last couple of years. As I started to step away from it, I was playing a lot of Sea of Thieves, a little bit of Fortnite if I'm honest, and a lot of Dark Souls 3. For Honor has quite the tendency to make people upset, but I think we can all agree that there's some level of it in any game, the ones I just mentioned very much included. I think it's all about the mindset you go into a game with, Understand that it's only a game and people are going to play it in a way that's fun for themselves personally. For example, for me in Sea of Thieves, my fun comes from being a thief. It's a pirate game and I like to play like a pirate. Uh, that element of risk of getting all your loot stolen by other players is the reason open servers exist in the first place. Ah, he got me. And it makes the game a whole lot more satisfying to play. Most players tend to agree, some like to pretend other players don't exist and take it personally when someone else gets in the spirit of the game. But hey, I suppose trash talk is rather piratish too. For people that don't play Sea of Thieves, that was a Reaper's chest, which is one of the most valuable in the game, so if you want to turn it in, you should in fact check the island beforehand. I kinda just live for PvP when it comes to this game, so players that are willing to simply do their best to fight for what's theirs, I greatly appreciate. Dark Souls 3 has meant hours and hours of fun for me. I've played through the game several times and done more than my fair share of PvP. It's not quite the salt mine that For Honor can be, I'd say, but between point downs and some of the messages I've gotten, it's not exactly toxicity free. People still get attached to a certain way they think the game should be played and try to force that on others. For example, in these messages that you might be pausing to read right now, the player is complaining about me using a heal in a duel. I'd almost understand his frustration if I didn't just heal, but also spent the entire fight running away from him, but he doesn't even bother to deny that he was the one running away the whole time. The whole thing is just totally hypocritical, he literally complains about me attempting to bait him into messing up, which is not only basically the core of DS3 PvP, but also that seems like the whole idea of his quote unquote passive playstyle. He finally found an opponent that doesn't just mindlessly chase him around the arena the whole match, and that's upsetting I guess. Lesson here is that the best way to not look like a hypocrite in this case would have been to not message me anything at all, just learn from the fight and stay closer to the opponent and you'll easily punish healing. Problem solved. That mentality is good for any game really, and often allows you to improve much faster too. You might be thinking, oh chef, if you're so annoyed by the messages, just don't respond at all or ignore them. First of all, there's plenty I do ignore, and second of all, they don't annoy me. I think we can all agree that someone being upset over something silly is entertaining a lot of the time. Without the messaging system, Xbox would feel a lot more lonely, and all the positive messages would go by the wayside too, which there are plenty of. My whole idea for this video was just to show some clips and messages while rambling, so I can only hope it's been entertaining. 
Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I massively appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Let's freaking go, nice! Okay! Fuck. Oh! He gets the light! Oh! Oh! The mix-up! Oh! Oh! Chef of Dead. YT is on a... Rampage.